Okay, uh, I'm JD Carmichael. I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Edmonton. Currently sitting in the library at St. Joseph Seminary. <laughs> Is that kind of what you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> I've always liked the outdoors and just loved fishing and camping and being outdoors and stuff, and I still do. Uh, probably a little bit more of a hunting uh, addict now. So, if you've ever planted a garden before, you know that it takes it takes planning and preparation. It takes work, and you spend all this time, and then at the end, you have something on your plate, and it's really satisfying. That's like, wow, you know, like I put this on my plate, you know. And hunting's kind of the same way. Before seminary, I was a working professional. Got a job right out of university for Upstream Oil and Gas Company and uh, worked as an environmental analyst. I worked on different projects around North America, like uh, down Louisiana, Gulf of Mexico, and up in Fort McMurray. And it was a good career and uh, I liked what I was doing and it had a lot of potential. I had a plan, you know, and uh, was building my career and I eventually wanted to own a farm. That was one of my goals. And, we had two priests in Fort Mac at that time, Father Paul and Father Francis, I think it was, and excellent priests, great priests. But Father Paul's from India, Father Francis from Vietnam. Even though they were doing such an excellent job, it kind of boggled my mind a little bit. That's like, we got 100,000 guys working up here and not one of them wants to be a priest. It was actually Father Paul and he was actually telling me how busy he was. And I was like, well, what can I do to help? And he's like, can you read at mass tonight? And I was like, yeah, that's easy, I can do that. But like, what can I do to help? And he asked me, he's like, you know, what are you asking? And it got me thinking like, you know, what am I asking? All of a sudden, like, you know, the prayer for vocations during mass started speaking to me a bit more. It kind of felt exciting and neat. It was maybe six months or something. I quit my job and put the house up for sale and here I am. <laughs> it really struck some people to see what I was doing because like I was leaving a pretty good career, a good job, you know. And uh, like I remember a consultant of ours from Calgary phones me up and he's like, I just heard the news. He's like, I can't believe this, you know, like I've never heard of somebody doing this. He's like, this is just crazy. <laughs> Every year presents itself a challenge. The challenges that come help settle a doubt that maybe I had in my mind, or maybe help settle an area that like I needed to grow in and stuff. So it's like these challenges every year are actually like a gift. Even people who I've talked to in, in the public, like when I tell them I'm a seminarian, I was like, you know the seminary on 98th? Ave by the traffic circle and they go, oh, the place with the bells. And it's like, yeah, the place with the bells, right? Like, so I think a lot of people, they know we're here. If some guy was coming to seminary, if you only came for one year, guaranteed you're going to be stepping out a better Catholic man. Mm -hmm.